how to create and use your first privacy card. First, log into your privacy account and click New Card. Depending on your plan, you'll see a few different options. For this example, let's create a merchant locked card for Netflix. You can also optionally add card art to customize the card's appearance. Once your card is created, you'll be able to set a spend limit. Since we know the subscription costs $17.99 a month, let's set an $18 monthly limit. Now, head over to Netflix's checkout page. Copy and paste your new privacy card's 16-digit number, CVV, and expiration date into the payment form, then complete your purchase. At the same time the purchase is completed, Privacy will debit your connected bank account, acting as a shield between your actual card details and the merchant system. The card is now locked to Netflix. That means if anyone tries to use it elsewhere, Privacy will automatically decline the charge. Now let's take a closer look at how your privacy card works. Spend limits reset on a rolling basis. So if Netflix charges you today, your limit will refresh on the same day next month, and you can change your spend limit at any time. You can also pause the card if you only want it charged when you're ready, or if you cancel your subscription, you can close the card permanently to make sure no future charges slip through. When a card is paused or closed, privacy will decline any new transaction attempts on the card. And that's it, you've created your first privacy card. You can manage and create privacy cards anytime using the Privacy mobile app, browser extension, or desktop site.